Hey everyone. Wow. Here we are in our final full week of August. Oh, aggravated August. Have you been feeling the aggravation? I know I have. I've been trying to get general contractors out to my house to get them to give me some estimates so I can try to get some of the work done and finished on my house. They just are being really slow at getting back to me. Mm. Anyway, moving on. September. So here we are, September. <laughs> it's going to be calmer energy, not as aggravating, but you have to remember to stop looking back at what happened the month before or the months before. Only look forward and moving forward. Don't continuously go back and touch those old aggravations that we've been having. Don't touch on those. And I find this interesting. I wrote these predictions for this year in the middle of last year. So before all this COVID mess came about, it's when I wrote these things down. And the last line on my prediction for September says, false fears have a way of creating chaos that doesn't need to exist. Boy, oh boy, does that sum up our year so far, right? False fears creating a chaos that does not need to exist. And that, has, that is 2020. That should be its slogan, right? Wow. Hmm. I'm glad I nailed that one. <laughs> At least I was right on something. Anyway. So we have Mars going on into retrograde on the 9th. And that is a time to reassess your battle plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like there's something else. Let me look at my little book of uh, shortcuts here because I believe there's a little note. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Where did I write down Mars? Where did I write it down? There's the... Oh, there it is. Mm -mm 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 no i wrote down what happens when mars is direct not when is retrograde on that one so yeah let's reassess our battle plans mm, september through november I, don't, I forget what date it ends in november but it ends in november um the new moon the full moon is on the second and the new moon is on the 17th but let's talk about this week we're still in aggravated August oh, so what kind of aggravations are we going to have this week yes we're going to have some I think it's 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 August's final push right just have an understanding of it is what it is right when we try to force something we try to push and push and push and push it only causes more damage than good when things are not wanting to happen in that moment, understand that there's probably a universal reason for it. There's a reason that spirit doesn't want this to happen in your life in this very instance. Maybe it's just need to hold out another week or two. Maybe you just need to be a little bit more patient. Maybe the other thing that is more right for you is lining up. So I want you to think about that all week long of not trying to force anything into being this week. Well, you should never try to force anything. If it's forced, mm, it's probably crap, right? <laughs> mm. So, that is the energy for today and for really all the rest of this month, all the way into next Monday, is making sure you're not trying to force anything into being. Make sure you're not turning something into what you want it to be and that you're seeing it for what it is. That's huge. A lot of us do it all the time. I have been one of those people. I have done it a lot in my life. I have made a lot of mistakes. And that has been one of the biggest things of trying to turn something into what I wanted it to be rather than really viewing it and seeing it for what it was and allowing it to be what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel me on that one? And it's not going to turn into that. If it's not going to, it's not going to. If it is that, it's already that. You see what I mean? So we shouldn't have to force it. We shouldn't have to force anything. What's meant for us, 
fits. It just does. So this week, be mindful all week long of, does this feel forced? Am I really trying to push so hard to make this particular thing happen or that particular thing happen or to meet up with this person or, or to get on the same page here or whatever it may be? Allow yourself time and patience to deal with what's in front of you. Don't go back and keep touching old aggravations. Let's not do that. And we'll have an easier life that way. Because when we go back touching those old aggravations and the old pain and all of that, we just torment ourselves all over again. We're just punishing ourselves again for something we've already survived and made it through. We've already overcome that moment. Then we take ourselves right back to it. Mm, we're not doing that. No. And then forcing things into being something that they're not. Oh, that gets us in a heap of trouble, doesn't it? So we're not doing that anymore either. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. Yes, you do. Get outside, touch the ass, cleanse your space. You know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. You ready? Sit with me. Do your meditations. <laughs> Remember that this way, the wolf, the raven, and spirit, we're sending you unconditional love. Mwah.